Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Dave and this is Frugal Foot. Well, in this video we're going to discuss some of the common causes for hammer toes. And we're going to use this foot model for demonstration. We've already discussed what a hammer toe is, so if you haven't watched that video, please go back and, and watch what is a hammer toe so that you're on the same page as I am. Alrighty, we'll make this very, very simple, very, very straightforward. There are a couple major causes for hammer toes. One can be that your muscles are tight. For example, let's say you like to wear heels a lot, or maybe you wear cowboy boots, and so your foot starts to become somewhat tight in this position like this, which makes it difficult for you to bring your foot parallel to the floor, which it must be for you to walk. Well, what will happen is the muscles on the top of your foot will work overtime to try to pull your foot like this, and some of those muscles go into your digits, and they will pull your toes into these contracted deformities that we call hammer toes. So that can be one cause for hammer toes. A, what I find a, to be a more common cause of hammer toes is actually a loose or flexible foot. Now, this kind of goes along with what happens with some of the other problems that we discussed throughout our video series. But to make it simple, let's define it as such. When you step down on the floor to absorb shock, your arch must go down. This makes your foot very, very flexible, okay? But when you step forward, you want to have a rigid foot to push off with. And so as you start to lift your heel, you expect your arch to come all the way back up, which lowers the ball of the foot and allows your toes to be able to bend over them so that over the over the ball of the foot so you can step forward. But suppose that in your genetics you have the ability to lower your arch more than you need to. Well, what happens is when you go to step forward, there is just isn't enough time in your gait cycle to get that arch all the way back up before you exit the floor. And so what happens? Your foot stays somewhat flexible. Well, I don't know if you ever saw the old Bugs Bunny cartoons when Bugs Bunny would walk on the wire and his toes would grab the wire like this. Well, our toes don't do that on a, on, a, on a wire when we walk, but when we walk on the floor, if our feet are very, very flexible, you'll feel your toes kind of gripping the ground as you walk. I've had many patients say, yeah, I noticed that my feet do that. Now, you may not notice that you're doing it. It may just be unconscious. You know, you may just have this, you know, unconscious ability to do this. But when you walk like that, what happens? The toes are cranking down like this, and over time, they will stay like that, and that's how you develop hammer toes. Okay, so those are some of the major causes for hammer toes. Now there are other causes that we're not going to get into, you know, it's beyond the scope of these videos. There are some other neuromuscular diseases and other conditions that can cause hammer toes. But generally speaking, this is what we most commonly see in the general population. Now, if you don't know what's causing your hammer toe, it's probably a good idea for you to follow up with your own foot doctor so you can get a really solid diagnosis. All right, well, you can check out our next video, which is some of the conservative treatment options for hammer toes. Hope you learned something today in this video. I'm Dr. Dave, and this is Frugal Foot.